Do you like hot dogs? I love hot dogs. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Ol, the new Night Shyamalan movie. Now, do you all remember when watching The Happening, how everyone just talked not like a normal human being? Something of what an alien species might think humans talk like? Particularly the hot dog guy? We're packing hot dogs for the road. You know, hot dogs get a bad rap. They got a cool shape, they got protein. You like hot dogs, right? Well, everyone talks like this in this movie, and it is probably the greatest challenge you will have to overcome. While I think this movie is kinda stupid, it actually has some cool themes and a very intriguing idea. It's just buried under some right up bullshit. The film follows this family that goes to this resort, they get the VIP treatment, and then they get invited to go to this very seclusive, very exclusive. Uh, part of the beach. Then they go there with a few other guests and once they get to the beach they start to notice that things kind of are a little bit off. Uh, there's a rapper guy there who is having this kind of midlife crisis about his girlfriend who winds up dead on the beach. But then people start to change a little bit. Things just start to age quickly and you start to see people go through rapid aging. Now I'm not going to exactly reveal how that's happening but I'll admit it's not absurd, it's a little bit like, eh, but it's actually not bad. It's how it's being shot and it's being portrayed that is probably the biggest weakness that this movie has because some of the acting is horrible. It is the happening bad. You've got some dialogue delivery on par with Plan 9 from Outer Space at some time. At the same time, you have some of the most awkward camera movement now like kind of like imagine this like for some reason i'm just in the bottom right hand frame that's it like sometimes the shot there's other shots where they just for some reason cut the heads off of people it's very very weird and jarring or there's other times where you won't even see my full face and i get this shot i get this kind of duality of man thing but even then this is still awkward the camera movement loves to watch the ebb and flow of the waves coming in and out of the water as that's kind of ebb and flowing with time but it's still weird i liked half of the shots in this movie and the other half i was just like what is the dp smoking he's got to be just yeah that's good bro now this film was also shot right in the height of COVID and the fact that they were actually on this exclusive beach helped kind of with the whole um, idea of keeping people away from any kind of COVID exposure. So I give Shyamalan credit for that. Credit where credit's due, there is some cool themes about family, the whole process of family from infancy to adulthood to taking care of your parents and then just family dynamics in general but you're getting it at like a rapid rate. Yes there is also some horror elements in this uh, too particularly with dementia. There is one scene in this movie that wigged me the fuck out and in a good way. That's probably when the movie started to get really good is in the final third of the film is when the kind of the stupid and the ridiculous start to kind of get buried down by the film's actually good qualities. It's a, an unfortunate loss because I love the ideas that this movie has. I love the premise. And even the twist ending is kind of a cool idea too. I still enjoy the ideas of this movie. This is much better than The Happening. The Happening had kind of a maybe interesting idea and it's just Shyamalan just jacking off to himself. And this one, I like parts of it and I don't like other parts of it. More so I don't like a lot of other parts of it because it is very hard to watch this movie and not laugh when you're not supposed to be laughing because again, the dialogue delivery in this movie is horrible. It's not even from the bad actors, it's from good actors too. Rufus from Dark City is in this. He's a good actor. His line delivery is terrible sometimes. Probably how Shyamalan wanted him to deliver it, so. So my final rating for old is it's a 2 out of 7. I almost wanted to give it a 3, but like I said, the line delivery and the, and the dialogue 
is just so bad for a massive portion of it. No human being talks like any of the characters do in this whole movie, basically, until the very end of the film when realistic dialogue comes out. And this isn't a, a thing that Shyamalan's done throughout his whole career. He knows how to make characters talk like human beings. It's a little awkward, but it's still real. Like, go and watch Unbreakable. That's realistic dialogue. This movie, not at all. But yeah, I would still suggest seeing it. It's a cool trip. I, you're just gonna laugh a lot at the stuff that you shouldn't be laughing at. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.